What's up, everybody? It's your boy Juice back at it again, and today we're bringing you a PSA reveal video. Now, before we get into it, if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, click on that subscribe button, and turn on those bell notifications. Now, let's get into the video. This way, so we don't see anything. Ooh, I see something, though. Uh huh, you do. I see something. I got a bunch of stuff to get graded here very shortly. Ooh, it's a mixture too. It is a mixture. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, we will start over here. Look at that. A nice four out of 50 Jamar Chase. This one, uh, good old uh, G. Oh yeah, Cold for me. I remember that. Yep, the uh, Jamar Chase uh, four out of 50 was at the green electric etch so let's see what we got three two one Bang! Ooh, oh. okay 10 auto I but 10. i thought it was a 10 but an eight on the card interesting I where. interesting oh maybe the corner i see a little white down there okay but yeah okay i guess not too bad it, it's jamar chase it's an auto Hopefully he has a good time. Yeah, I think he'll have a good season this year. A lot of people were drafting him early, so uh, we pulled. I think we pulled. Yeah, we pulled this one. Steve, Aoki. Steve Aoki and Tops uh, Wave Four. Oh yeah. Yeah, we pulled this. Uh, I bought one, so and then I had this one, so I wanted to get it graded. So let's see. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Eight, ten, auto. Thick cards are always hard to grade. I feel like it's a lot of... It's a beautiful looking card though. But uh, yep, 31 out of 77. Nice little Steve Aoki. Not bad. Yep. Not bad at all. Ooh, magic. Magic the Goodering. The yeah. Goodering. So I graded this card because this is a very special card that will be going into my collection. <laughs> But, um, you know, we, we met Cassius at, um, up at the, the National over yep. there with the Ludex booth. Yeah. And uh, he was uh, gracious enough to sign my card for me. And so I only authenticated the card because the card is not in very good condition anyway. So but it's just authentic a, and 7 auto. It's just a cool card to have. Yep. That's so dope. And uh, I talked to him a few times too uh, through DMs and... He's ready to play us some magic. Yeah, nice. nice so that, there might be a nice little commander game that you can see. <laughs> That'd be dope. All right, now to the big boys. Oh my goodness. Now this card I bought at the National. And uh, my good friend, the great curator, sold this to me. Now he had a hard time letting him go, so I had to tenderize him a little bit. Um, but he did... He did sell it to me, so this is a very, very big card. Um, I'm hoping for good grades, though. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! oh! Okay, 10. Nice. But the 8 auto, little surprise. I thought the auto would at least get a 9, but I'm assuming just because certain areas are faint uh, and not as well pronounced, I think that's probably why. A 10 on the card. But the card got a 10. Wow. So uh, everybody tag the great curator, let him know what, what I got. Wow. Did, did, uh, did I end up making a good deal? Hmm. Let me know what you guys think. Interesting. Very beautiful card. Amazing card. Oh, and then another great card from the National. Yep, I remember this. We pulled this on um, at the Formula One trade night. Uno de uno. And I bought this from um, our friends at Nash Cards because they had Cards. one. So I bought this from Nash Cards. It is, as you can see, the Sergio Perez one of one with the Red Bull logo. It's such an amazing looking card. Three two one. Oh, oh nine massive. and a ten auto that is beautiful now there's always a debate whether or not to get one ones graded but i think in this scenario uh with a, a set like this it's always good to get it encased um you know having the grade on it is just an added bonus but just getting it encased and know that it's preserved. and then i looked at the card um and it looked like it could 
possibly 10 or 9. Because I think there's like a corner here that's slightly lifted. So I didn't know if that would get it a 9 or if they would just overlook it. But it's a gorgeous card. overall, the condition of the card was great. So Congrats. I am very happy with this 101. That's so dope. So... But trust me, I don't think you'll see it on golden auctions anytime soon. No. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. We're doing a PSA reveal at Casa de Duluc. We'll leave all that there. Push down, ooh. So this is the first, as you can see, there's a Patriot. So I'm gonna go like here, uh, keep, it in, keep it in the, keep it there. But we're gonna start with the other reveal first. First up, we got a Cameron Johnson Gold Shimmer. Beautiful card, PSA 10. Harash's favorite. Then we have probably, I, I'm gonna say this is gonna be a fan favorite in the set. A Gold Brian Scalabrini Auto. Out of 10, five out of 10, the White Mamba. PSA 10. Pop one. Pop one. <laughs> then we have the LeBron James Pink Swirl. 11 out of 11. PSA 9. We'll put that in the 9 slot. Then we got some Pokemon cards graded. Got a Clefairy PSA 9. Not too bad. We got a Raichu PSA 9. Again, not too bad. Alakazam number 1. PSA 9. Now the market is down a little bit on these, but we'll still throw those prices up. Gyarados, PSA 9. Alakazam, number 2, PSA 9. Now this one's a little interesting. I have no idea why it got this grade, but it got a 6. And I don't know why. So when we look at it... It's off control. There's probably way too many 7s out there. <laughs> I mean, the top corner is typically... Like, this is how these cards are cut. I don't know if that played a role into it. The bottom, I don't really see any crazy whitening. You guys let us know in the comments below. If you see anything that I'm not seeing, I'll shed some light on there. Remember, there is a sleeve on this. Then we got a Tyler Hero PSA 6 Gold Mosaic, 3 out of 10. Again, don't know why this got a 6. I'll try to put some light on it. I don't know if anybody can see anything. Again, the, it is in a sleeve. No, nothing noticeable. We'll have to take a better look. But yeah, so we'll leave the sixes over there. We'll put the nines over here for Pokemon. Look at this. Tom Brady, field level zebra from 2020 Select. Beautiful card. We're looking for a 10. Three, two, one. Boom! Ten. Let's go. Wow. Tom Brady, the GOAT. PSA 10 field level. That's a massive card. That is an absolute massive card. Next up, we got LeBron James Zebra from Select. This is basketball. This looks like it is. A, is it premier level? Yep. Premier level. Now, these aren't numbered. They're short printed. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, PSA 9. It does look a little bit off center, which probably is the reason why they got a 9. Mm -hmm. There is a little white dot at the bottom there. Put it there so I knew what it was. Got it. Not too bad, though. Both the LeBrons got a 9. Now, this next LeBron is a massive card. Massive card. Cracked Ice Tribute Dunk. This is out of 125. Now, the back, you can tell, is a little off-centered from uh, left to right. Thicker over here. But the front, the front is gorgeous. Let's see what we got. Three, two, one. Ah, I got a nine, but that's all right. This card is iconic. It's gonna be around for, or collectible for a while. One of the highly collectible cards from 2020 Prism Basketball. Huge card. UFC card. Cosma, is it Kamza? Hamza. Hamza. So the K is silent. 
Hamzat. Hamzat Chemaya, right? Chemaya. Chemaya. There we go. It's from Chechnya. Over there. Over there. <laughs> Here we go. PSA eight. Oh man. Yeah, Why did they get an eight? Had a two seventy five. Little off center on the back. Oh, I'm seeing how I got an eight. If you guys see anything crazy, let me know. But I don't know why I got an eight. All right, the last card is probably the biggest card in this set, or one of them next to the Tom Brady. We got the Kevin Durant downtown. Now, you saw us pull this on the channel. We need a PSA 10. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bang! PSA 10. Let's go. Massive card. Two massive tens right here. Unfortunately, you did not get to see this pulled because dude looks impatient. But <laughs> hey.